fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie when it talks about the revelation, right? When, when you hear about when it says that this one the one creature that will be there to torment man, right? That he'll be there and in those de days men will wish for death and not find him. Oh, you talking about Revelation chapter nine? Yeah. Go, go to Revelation. But when he's talking about the whole of Babylon, right? Yeah. This is what I interpret. I, I don't know. Revelation nine verse. This is what I got from it. When you hear it says it has the face of a man, the wings of a hummingbird that moves so fast. The body of a horse and armor and spits fire at the whore of Babylon standing on her, on her stool of lawlessness, holding her book of lawlessness. For Hosea 12 and 10. Because back then there was only five nations, not seven. So she's wearing the seven nations. That's the statue of liberty. So when you think about that, that's an Apache helicopter. That means that this shit is coming to an end real soon. Yeah, so when you're breaking down Revelations, the ninth chapter is going into World War III. It's right. going into the fighters of World War III, too. I've been a Marine 14 years. Oh, uh, praises, right? So yeah, that's exactly what it's talking about, right? Go to Hosea 12 and 10, whoever got it. Well, that's what I found, man. I'm not going to lie. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10 because we know the Bible, or the Bible is written in allegories, similitudes, right? Can you go to Galatians chapter 4 and verse 24, Bible can show you. It's the book of, yeah, please, Bible can show It's the book of Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and use similitude. What? And, and use, use similitude. Right, so the Lord can be speaking about one thing, right? But it's actually talking about something else. That's right. Right. That's why we even in the book of Ezekiel, right? He's known uh, uh, um, for telling a lot of riddles, meaning he would tell a lot of different prophecies Powerful. that pertains to Israel. Right. right. Exactly. Read on. By the ministry of the prophets. By the what? By the, the ministry, ministry of the, of the prophets. prophets. Is there iniquity in Galat? Right, sit on that. Right. Go to Galatians four twenty four. It's the book of Galatians 4 and verse 24. Bring it up. Which things are an allegory. Which what? Which, Which things, things are an allegory. allegory. We also have allegories in the scriptures as well. So we're breaking down Revelation the ninth chapter. You're understanding what it's going into. Read, um, read what you said. Read what, uh, Revelation 9 and 4. The book of Revelation chapter 9 starting at 4. Bring it up. And it was commanded them that they should start, not. Start our verse. Con, start our verse 5. Con, verse 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill them. But that they should be tormented five months. Right. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion. He that, I'm sorry, when he struck it, they man. Right, because when you're going into Revel uh, Revelation, the ninth chapter, remember it's talking about World War III. It's talking about the bombs that's gonna drop on the earth, right? It's gonna torment men, right? Reverse, uh, the next verse is what you was talking about. Reverse uh, six. Verse six. Yeah. And in those days shall men seek death. Right. And shall not find it. And what? And shall not find Because right, in those days, man's gonna seek death. Fam is going to be all over the earth. People are going to be running crazy, right? Breaking into houses. We're getting ready to go to war in three weeks. Hey, hey, the war is already here. Proxy wars. No, the China. China is attacking Taiwan. I know, but I got to be deployed. Soon. Okay. So, so you say you got word that China is about to attack Taiwan, Taiwan yeah. and America is about to be in some deep-ish, man. And go to Jeremiah 23 and verse 20. And if that happens, all praise to y'all about Shemiah Shah. All praise. Oh, Lord. And China said they're not afraid to attack America's mainland. None. And South Korea. South Korea been waiting. Well, they're yeah. going to have a hard time. North Korea, I'm sorry. They're have a hard North Korea time. been waiting. Uh -huh. America. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. Yes, they yeah, are. Yeah, nah, nah. America America's knows. lights will be put out. That's right. You cannot save this place. That's right. The so called white man's kingdom is going to fall when Christ comes That's back, man. That's right. These other nations are tired of America, man. Hey, Russia's banning everything that America's allowing. Yeah, but it ain't the Only white man fans. Fighting. Huh? It ain't the white man fighting. It's us. <laughs> man, it's the so-called white man's kingdom's gonna fall, man. If you in, if you in the army, get out. Go to Isaiah chapter thirty-four and verse. Actually, read what you got. Go to Isaiah thirty-four and verse five. It's Jeremiah chapter twenty-three. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. We have to show you what the Lord said about America. Why are you trying to save America? This is the army. Army stands for eight ready for the Marines. So, so you believe in Christ? Do you believe in Christ? Yes, sir. Do you think Christ's kingdom is gonna reign while America's here? Christ, the kingdom reigns every day. No, no, his kingdom, when Christ comes back on earth to reclaim his throne, is Christ coming back to reclaim his throne? So if he reclaims his throne, isn't another nation have to be put out of power? Oh, yeah. So what nation is that? All of them. All of them, right? Including America, right? Oh, everything's gotta be white. Including America, right? But that's why the Lord says America has to fall. He said that the streets will be paved with obsidian and gold. Exactly. So doesn't America have to fall for that to happen? So that when we're prophesying out the Bible, why are you getting offended that America has to fall? It's not offended. I gotta do the fight. 
I don't know. Like, then brother, whoa, hold on, go to Isaiah 34, five. The fight. You say you don't, you don't want to do the fight? I got you, King. But we want you in the Lord's army, though. We want you fighting with the Lord, not against him. All right, so read Isaiah 34, verse 5. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumil. I do me. That's the biblical nationality of the so-called white man. His sword is going to come down upon Idumil for the judgments they have done to our people. Read on. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. What the Lord say? The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. So if you're in the so-called white man's army, which has nothing to do with us anyway, why are we fighting for them? The Lord said, get out of that, man. I understand that, King. Right? But there's a lot of different ways to make finances in this place, man. You don't have to fight for the so-called white man right. and destroy yourself. Our people fought for the so-called white man during the Civil War. What did we get out of that? Nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Right? They told the 40 acres in the mule. Right? And, and guess what? We, we still didn't get that. Right? So we got we to stop fighting for the so-called white man. Because ultimately, you're going to end up fighting God. That's what's going to happen. Read on. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. With the fat of kidneys and rams. Verse 3. Verse 3. Their slain also shall be cast out. And their stink shall come up out of their carcass. And the mountain shall be melted with their blood. What the Lord say? And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. So when the kingdoms of the earth are fighting, they try to fight Christ, it's, the mountains are going to be filled with blood, man. Right? You feel what I'm saying? What you got to do is repent and come back to the Lord and fight spiritually. Right. Exactly. When you hear that horn, bro. Jeremiah 51 to 7. The chariots start coming. There ain't no guns. 51 to 7. I'm talking about us while we're here. We're going to suffer before he comes. But the elect is not going to suffer. No harm, no torment is going to touch the elect. But if you're not part of the elect and you continue to do wickedly upon the earth, then that judgment is for you. And that's why we're out here right now is to save our people from the destruction to come. Whether you're in the army or not. Right? Read what you got. Read what you, read what you got. David was a soldier. The book of Jeremiah. He was a soldier for God, though. Read one. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. Bring it out. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hands. Verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. What the Lord is saying? Flee out of the midst of Babylon. You're in Babylon right now. This is the chief city of Babylon the Great. Right? The Lord said flee out of the midst of Babylon. Not physically, but spiritually. You got to stop doing the works of America. You got to come out of this westernized mindset, man. It's not a westernized mindset. America promotes a westernized mindset. Uh, 25 to life or go to Okay. Right, I got you. So basically, you went to army as a, as a, um you you joined the army for punishment, it's not army. army or the Marine Corps for punishment. Because you said he was either twenty five for life or the Marine Corps. So either way, you still gonna be serving a so called white man. Right, right. It's not like you did it with him. All serve the white man. Right, but, no, we serve Hamashiach. Everyone that works here, nah. Everyone that works, everyone that builds these buildings, these motherfuckers make the money off it, not us. Okay, go to Matthew twenty four and verse three. When we pay taxes, who we pay? And what's gonna happen to those buildings? And hey, guess what Christ agrees with you. Read what you got. Matthew 24 and verse 3. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. Bring it out. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, verse 2. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Yeah, look at all these things that we built. Right? See ye not all these things? What? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another. What the Lord say? There, there shall, shall not be left here one stone, stone upon another. Right? That shall not be thrown down. That shall what? That, that shall, shall not, not be thrown down. down. When these bombs hit this place, when famine, think about it, when famine breaks in America, when people are not, people are not used to not eating in America. You can go get some food at 3 a.m., right? Hey, guess what? All hell is going to break loose. And the Lord said these stones will be burned, uh, broken down, man. Right. Imagine that build, building falling right now. Right? By a nuclear bomb. That's what the Lord says. So the Lord agrees with you, though. But there's one thing that you have to do. Get out of the so-called white man's army and join the army of the Lord, man. Right. The Lord is recruiting right now. Go to Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 2. The Lord's recruiting soldiers. Go to Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war, man. And we are his servants, man. That's right. Right? What you got? Exodus 15 and verse 3. The book of Exodus, 
chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. What the Lord say? The Lord is a man of war. Read it again. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. What's his name? Yahweh is his name. We serve Yahweh. We don't serve the so-called white man. We serve Yahweh. Go to Jeremiah 3, 23 and verse 20. So everything that we're reading about America, the Lord said it will happen, man. Right? Hold what you got. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse number 20. Right? The Lord is a God of execution, man. Right? Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 20. Yeah. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed. Until he have what? Until he have executed. So the anger of the Lord is not going to stop until he executes his judgment upon America. Right. Their right. sins have reached up to heaven, man. Right? Read on. Until, it's like it, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. Right. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. What the Lord say? In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Right. So the Lord said in the latter days, you're going to consider what I said perfectly. Remember, these words were written 2,500 years ago. Uh, he also said this, that I will never destroy the earth. That when the earth is destroyed, when, when the seal is open and the fireball comes and hits the earth, killing 75% of the earth's population, that when that happens, that right there is going to be You said there's going to be a... Go, actually, yeah, go to Isaiah 65 and verse 13. That's in Revelation is what I'm talking about. But that's going to be us fighting each other. That's how it's all going to start. I, I hate to say it, but yo, let me tell you something, man. Just like the devil works for people, start works for people and everything else, that's how the devil's going to work. He's going to send his angels by them coming to attack us. You know what I'm saying? All these countries are going to fall. That's without a doubt. And we understand that. Yeah. All these are countries are going to fall. But America's going to be the first one to go. Right. Right, read what you got. But the thing is, though, we're going to read, the elect is going to rebuild, though. So I know we built up the so-called white man's empire, but the, but the, hey, we're going to read the Bible. We're going to read the Bible, though, right? If I'm, hey, if we, are, if we are part of the elect, we have nothing to worry about. That's right. Right, read what you got. The book of, the book of, sorry, the book of Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 21. Bring it out. And they shall build houses. And inhabited them. What the Lord say? They shall build houses and inhabit. That's what we're looking forward to. We got hope, right? If you're doing a service of God, you have hope to make it out of what's about to happen, man. Right? Read on. They shall they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. Right. They shall not build and another inhabit. What the Lord say? They shall not build and another inhabit. So when they elect bills, guess what? Another no other nation of people is going to inhabit that in that time, right. man. But before we get to that, the Lord is going to make his, his battle axe of war. Go to Ezekiel twenty five and twelve. Read what you got. Zechariah. It's the book of Zechariah nine and verse twelve. Turn you to the stronghold. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. You what? Ye prisoners of hope. What are we? Ye prisoners of hope. You prisoners of hope. Aren't we prisoners of hope? We got prisoners of war. Right, we're the prisoners of hope, man. Read on. Even to today, do I declare that I will render double unto thee. What the Lord going to do to America? That I will render double unto thee. The Lord's going to render double back for what our nation went through, man. They've been causing wars on earth, man. Right, read on. When I have bent Judah for me. When I did what? When I have bent Judah for me. The Lord says he's going to bend Judah for him, right? Like a bow and arrow. Read on. Right. Fill the bow with Ephraim. Fill the who? Fill, Fill the, the bow, bow with Ephraim. Ephraim. So Judah represents the top three tribes. Ephraim represents the rest of the northern kingdom. That's so right. what the Lord is saying, he's going to make our nation of people his battle axe of war, man. Right. There's going to be a day and time where we're going to go to the so-called white man in these other nations and we're going to take back what's ours, man. Right. Take it back, man. Not ask for it. Read on. And raise up thy sons. And do what? And raise up thy sons. What are we doing now? And raise up thy sons. But we have to raise up the sons of these people, man. Right? We don't know our history, man. Right? Our, our, we had kings. We had all different types. Like you said, David was a man of war. We have to raise up his sons, man. And that's what we're doing in these last days. Read on. Oh, Zion. Oh, who? Oh, Zion. Who we talking to? Oh, Zion. Oh, Zion. Right? Read on. Against thy sons, oh, Greece. Against who? Against thy sons, oh, Greece. Who are the Greece? Who are the Grecians? Who are the sons of the Grecians? The sons of the Greeks. Yeah, who's Alexander the Great? The greatest war general according to the so-called white man. I can tell you all about him. He's a Grecian, right? The Lord said he's going to raise up that. He's a Macedonian, but from the land of Greece. Right? Guess what? He said, I'm a... Greece is here, Macedonia. He was a Grecian. He was a Greek. He did. He emphasized Greek customs. The point is, the Lord said he's going to raise up... The point is, the Lord says he's going to raise, he's a so-called white man, he's an Edomite, right. right? The Lord says he's going to raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. And the Grecians are who? The so-called white man, man. That's right. The, so they're the demons? Huh? They're the demons? Who? The demons? The demons? All no, this is talking about on a physical level. Yeah, that's what I mean. All white people are the demons? They're the devil. 
That's right. know who the hell I'm gonna shoot because that's the case going wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's the devil the Bible speaks yeah. of, man. That's right. These enemies, man. The thy sons, oh Greece. Read that again. <laughs> oh Zion, against thy sons, oh Greece, right. and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. And did what? And made thee as a sword of a mighty man. So the Lord said, these nation, these people on this sign will be the sword, will be made the sword of God, or the sword of a mighty man in that day. Read on. And the Lord shall be seen over them. What the Lord said? And, and the Lord, Lord shall be seen, seen over them. them. So when, like you said, China and Russia starts doing all these different things. Y'all listen to this too. Guess what? The elect will be like the sword of God. Nothing's going to happen to them in that day. Right? But the first things first, we have to come back to who we are and, um, and, and repent and keep God's commandments. We can't, we can't fight with God calling ourselves African Americans and Puerto Ricans. Right. You, the Lord not dealing with that. You either gonna, if you want to fight with God, you got to go by what he called you. Right? So what's your nationality? African American, all African Americans? Dominican? Jamaican, Dominican, Dominican, Dominican Trinidadian? All praises. We got a lot of the tribes up here. Y'all believe in God? Yeah, y'all do believe in God? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all wanna know what the Bible said about Dominicans? Black people, right? We, we went over the Gadites, right? Puerto Ricans. The Lord has good news for all of our people, man. That's right. Go to Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. Right? Go to Isaiah, go to Malachi chapter 2 and verse 1. What? No, you can drop that. You can drop that. Right? How do we live in America? How would y'all say we live in America? Bad? Almost cursed? It's a horrible environment. Read what you got, King. It's Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Bring it out. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant. Oh, who? O Jacob, my servant. And Israel, whom I have chosen. And what? And Israel, whom I have chosen. Right? So who's Israel? Who's the people? Do you know God has uh, uh, chosen a nation of people? God has a favorite nation of people. Y'all never heard that before, have y'all? 12 tribes. The 12 tribes. God has a favorite nation of people, the 12 tribes of Israel. Because y'all may heard God loves everybody in church and, and you know <laughs> things like that. But God actually has a chosen people. Do y'all want to know who the nation of Israel is? I'm going to show you. Go to Malachi 2 and 1. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 from the top. Bring it up. Bring it up. Say, and now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. So the, this commandment is actually for God's chosen people. Read on. If ye will hear, and if ye will lay, it's like you will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, right. I will even send a curse upon you. What the Lord said, I will I even send a curse, curse upon, upon you. you. So the Lord said he cursed the Israelites for generations after generation after generation. So we're going to read about some curses in the Bible, and we're going to identify who the Israelites are. And I'm going to ask you all a question. Right? Because remember, the Israelites are still here today. God's chosen people are still walking this earth every single right. day. Y'all look at them every day. That's right. Right? Read, read, uh, read what you got. This is Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Bring it up. And I will set my face against you, right. and ye shall be slain before your enemies. What the Lord say? And, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. enemies. What group of people is constantly killed day in and day out before their enemies? Black people, right? Who else? Who else would you say gets murdered at a high rate or murders each other? Well, no, right? In America. 224,000 and count. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you, brother. What would y'all say? Blacks? Hispanics? What about, what about Native Americans? Would y'all say they're in there too? Yeah, Native Americans. So now we say the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? All right, read on. They that hate you shall reign over you. What the Lord say? They, they that, that hate you shall reign over you. So this nation of people, the Israelites, are going to have another nation reign over them or tell them what to do, and they hate them at the same time. That's right. That sounds like us, right? The president, America, the Senate, the council. You have so-called white people reigning over so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. You understand that? So if I'm asking now, we're going to get you another curse to prove that. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Get up, get up. What is this called? What is this called? It's called slavery. What is this? What is this right here? It's filled with slaves. They're getting ready. Oh, that's a they're boat. Transferring they're transferring them, right? What, what year? What year? What period did they say? You know, this happened. Well, Hispanics went to slavery around the 14, 1500s too, right. right? But around 16, 19 for black people, right? West coast of Africa, right? That was about what 400 or so years ago. When do you think Moses or the Book of Exodus was written? Like, what would you, how long would you say? Well, Moses, huh? 1400s? Well, no, not in the 1400s. Moses wrote the book of Exodus a little bit over 3,000 years ago. 
and he tells in the in the Bible to the Israelites that they will go into slavery on the way of slave ships. That's right. In the Bible. If I told you that in the Bible, would y'all believe it? Let me show y'all something. This now, y'all probably never heard this before. But the Bible told black people they're gonna go into slavery if they disobey God's commandments. That's right. We are the people that Moses led from slavery. That's right. When Moses split the Red Sea, we were the people that was in Egypt. I mean, who do you think who who built up America? We did, right? Who built up Mexico? Who, who built up Spain? Our people. Who was in the fields? Our people. Hey, get, hey, we was in the sugarcane field, Jamaicans. God said that would happen because we broke his commandments. We broke a covenant. Let me show you something. Read this. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Check it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord said he's going to bring us into another place like Egypt, or that's code for slavery again. He's going to bring us into another slavery again with what? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Who went into slavery on the way of slave ships? Y'all said earlier. Yes. Our people, right? We went into a way of slavery on slave ships. So who is God talking to? Hey, our people, right? Brothers on fire. Read on. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. When's the last time we've been back to our homeland? Right? Yeah, we haven't been back to our homeland in over 2,000 years. Africa's not our homeland. Mexico's not your homeland, man. Right? Haiti's not your homeland. Brooklyn, 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 America's not your homeland. Your homeland is actually in the Middle East or Israel. That's what they so-called called the Middle East. It's actually in Israel. Right? The Lord was an Israelite. Right? Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. What the Lord say after you get off the slave ship? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Who were these people sold to? Who's our enemies? White people. Wait, say it again. White people. White people, man. The so-called, yeah, we're not afraid to say it, man. White people are your enemies. And guess what? White people gave your grandmother and your grandfather Christianity and Catholicism as well. And now they're serving a so-called white man. When the Lord said in the Bible, he doesn't even look like a so-called white man. He actually looks like y'all according to the Bible. Have you ever heard that? All right, go to Revelations 1 and 14. All right, Revelation chapter, go to, actually, go to, yeah, Revelations 1 and 14. Go to book, book of Colossians 1 and 15. Go to Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. So we're going to read about the skin color of Christ, and then we're going to read about God's complexion in the Bible. You know God has a complexion? What's going on, King? Teaching the young brothers, you know, that who, are we, who we are according to the Bible, right? And now we're about to show them the description of Christ, because a lot of our people think Christ looks like this, right? Tom Hanks. They think Christ looks like Tom Hanks. Oh. And our grandfathers and grandmothers were worshiping this, right? Singing to this every Sunday, singing to Tom Hanks, right? Every Sunday. Madness. But let's see what God said. Read verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 from the top. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The what? The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. John saw Christ with his own two bodily eyes. Read verse 14. John verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. Y'all you know, know Morgan Freeman, the actor? White and woolly hair, right? That's what it looked like. Read on. John. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. Right? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His what? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. They tell you Jesus has blue eyes. But Christ had eyes like a flame of fire, right? Read on. Huh. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So when y'all go home after a long day, y'all probably been out, probably hooping, doing whatever y'all was doing, y'all take off your shoes and your socks, isn't the top of your feet the same color as the rest of your body? So let's read about Christ's skin color. Read on. Huh. Like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Yeah, like a trumpet, the brass instruments. Brown. 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 Right? Christ, now Christ had brown skin. Let's see how dark Christ was. Read on. Uh, it says, as if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. Christ was so dark, it looked like he got burnt alive in the oven. That's right. How, now, how dark is that? That's that black, right? And we know some people like that. That was our, that's, that's of our people, right? But guess what? They gave us a so-called white man, man. That's right. Well, Christ looks like all y'all in the scriptures, man. That's right. Now, if Christ looks like that, what did his father God look like? See that? Now, that let's answer the question. Read this, man. 
It's the book of Colossians 1 and verse 15. Bring it out. Who is the image of the invisible God? Who what? Who, Who is, is the, the image of the invisible God? God? What is Christ? Who, Who is, is the, the image of the invisible God? God? So when you see Christ, you see God. Right? He's the image of the invisible God. Right? Read on. The firstborn of every creature. Right. For by him were all things created right. that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible. Right, that's talking about Christ. Now let's read about the description of God. Now Christ had woolly hair too. Read Daniel 7 and 9. It's Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days is God. Go to Isaiah 57 and verse 14. Why is God called the ancient of days? God is called the ancient of days. Why? Because he it doesn't have in time. Right, God dwells on the out realm or the outskirts of time. Let's show you that. Read this, King. Come on, the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 14. Let me see. Start at verse 15. At verse 15. For thus said the slide it. For thus said the high and lofty one. Right. That inhabit eternity. That what? That inhabited eternity. So God inhabits eternity, meaning God doesn't have an age. You can't put a number on God. So God is the ancient of days. So we're going to read about his description in the Bible. And it looks just like y'all. Read on. Whose garment was white as snow. So God has a body. He's not just a big puff of smoke. That's right. You ever heard God, uh, the woman is God? You ever heard of that? Okay, good. If you ever hear that, turn away your ears and go the other way. That's, That's right. not true. The Lord is a man of war. Right. God has a garment on. Read on. And the hair of his head. And the what? And, and the, the hair, hair of his head. head. God has hair on his head. Read on. Like the pure wool. Like the what? Like, like the, the pure wool. wool. Now, who has woolly hair on the earth? You touching it now. Like like sheep. Yeah, brother, you. If your hair was white, I would mistake you for a sheep. All right? So guess what? We have hair like wool. Hair like sheep. God has hair like sheep as well. So if God has a chosen people, who would you think his chosen people would be? Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. All of our people. If you see yourself on a sign... Your nationality is not Hispanic, not Mexican, not Jamaican, not black. That's what the so-called white man called you. That's right. But in the Bible, if you truly believe in the Bible, you're going to identify yourself with what God actually called That's you. That's right, right. And what did God call us? Did y'all do y'all y'all remember? Are right, we going to Isaiah 44 and 1? Right? We're going to show y'all. This is the tribe y'all come from. This is what the Lord called y'all, Israel. Right? Read Isaiah 44 and verse 1. Whoever got it. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 1. Read out. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, right. and Israel. And who? And Israel. And who? And Israel. So God said, Israel. Israel. We are the Israelites according to God. So when somebody says, hey, what do you identify yourself as? What's your ethnicity? I am an Israelite. Now, you know why this is important? Do y'all, y'all ever heard of the kingdom of heaven? Do y'all, you never heard of the kingdom of heaven? What about, he said, what the hell? All right, what about y'all? You ever heard of the kingdom of God where you live forever and you reign with the Lord and you ever heard of Christ coming back? Do y'all want the kingdom of heaven or do y'all want to die in America? Huh? You want the kingdom of heaven, right? You want the kingdom of heaven, right? You want the kingdom of heaven, brother? Okay, it's important for y'all to know who y'all are because God is only saving the Israelites. If y'all not an Israelite, y'all may not be saved. So the Lord said, first y'all got to identify yourselves as Israelites. So I'm going to ask y'all a question. According to the Bible, are y'all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, or are y'all Israelites according to God? You're what? Israelites. Say it again. Israelites. Israelites, that's right. We are Israelites according to the Bible. That's step one. That's step one. That is step one. You believe that you're an Israelite, and y'all believe in Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's right. What is step two? Go to Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. What is step two to getting the kingdom of heaven? And not dying in this polluted land. All right, read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. And behold, one came unto him and said, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this man came to Jesus Christ. He said, What good thing should I do that I may live forever in your kingdom? I'm tired of paying taxes to the Romans. I'm tired of seeing my brother shot down and killed by the Romans in the streets. I'm tired of seeing my people oppressed by the Romans. Right? Doesn't that sound familiar? Right, but he said, how do I get eternal life? Read on. And he, and he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life. What the Lord say? But if thou wilt enter into life. The Lord said, if you want to enter into everlasting life, what? 
Keep the commandments. What the Lord said, keep, keep the commandments. Step two is keeping God's commandments. Now I'm going to ask right. you a question. Do y'all know God's commandments? Twelve? Seven? Do y'all know God's commandments? Now, there's 613 of God's law, statutes, and commandments we got to keep. We're only going to give you a few today, but it's going to be on y'all brothers to learn a little bit more about God's commandments so y'all can ever uh, inherit everlasting life. Now, we're going to show y'all some of God's commandments that our people have broken. Our people broke God's commandments. Look what happened to our people. We broke God's commandments. Look what happened. Now we got to keep God's commandments. Go to Deuteronomy 14 and 8. And we're going to ask y'all, is our people keeping these commandments today? All right? Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 8. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 8. And the swine. They know what? And the swine. Y'all know what animal is the swine? What? No. It's a type of bird. Nope. Swine. That's a swan. Swine is pig. Swine is pig. Or a flamingo. No, pig. 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 Yeah, swine, swine is a pig. Oh. Right? Hog. Alright, read on. Because it divided the hoof, yet you would not the cut. It is a clean unto you. What is the pig? It is a clean unto you. Do our people eat pork? Yes. You see what happened to our people? When the Lord said, damn, that's a destroyed eater. Right? right? Yeah. He's a man. When the Lord said, don't eat pork. Right? And you see our people eating pork, right? Read on. Come. It says, it is a clean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh. What the Lord say? You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcasses. Right? So the Lord said, don't eat. Y'all listening? Right? The Lord said, don't eat pork. If you love God, you're never going to eat pork again. Are y'all going to eat pork? Yes, yes. Did, no, let me ask you a question. Does she love God? No, she doesn't love God. Huh? See, that's Satan coming. That's right. Satan just told you, hey, guess what? Why do you think? She's one of the reasons... Why are people still serve the so-called white man today? That's right. Because she said, God said, don't eat pork, and she said she's going to still eat pork. And that's our people. And you see how we're, we're, we're cursed? You see how we're the Israelites in the Bible? You see that? Now, I'm going to ask y'all kings a question. Y'all Are y'all going to consider eating, uh, still eat pork if, if God said no? No, 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 no. So you can, uh, you're talking about the Sabbath day, but you can, you can eat all the other meats. You got ox, you got chicken, right. deer, right. bison, right. buffalo, right. lamb, right. turkey. Right. You got all these different meat. Why do you want to eat the pig so bad? Do you know pigs eat other dead things? That's what that's the that's what Muslims said. Yeah. And guess what Muslims got it from? The Bible. Right. And guess who the Bible was given to? Y'all. That's right. So the, the Arabs, they copied us. The Lord said, we can't eat pork. If y'all want to eat pork, then guess what? Y'all may get destroyed by God. But if y'all don't eat pork, y'all can live forever. It's really simple. You believe that? Why not? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, are you going to stop? You don't know? Do you love God? The Lord said if you're going to love him, you got to keep his commandments. You know what's crazy? The reason why our people don't stop doing what they want to do is because they don't serve God, they serve themselves. Right? And they don't know that there's actually a judgment according to God. Think about it like this. Y'all have parents, right? Yes. If y'all don't do what y'all parents said, is there punishments? Yes. Whether y'all like it or not? Yes. What do you think God is going to do if y'all keep doing what he told you not to do? Punishments. Punishments. Now, what is God's punishment? Go to hell. Send you to hell. Death. Go to Romans chapter 6 and 23. Go to 1 John 4 and 20. Go to Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 11. The Lord doesn't care if you're 8 years old. The Lord doesn't care if you're 21 years old. The Lord doesn't care. The Lord is a God of judgment. How old are y'all? 11. 11. How old are you? Huh? 12. 12? 13? 13? 11? I'm going to get to you, brother. Do you know there was kings in the Bible that reigned at y'all age? Huh? Did y'all know that? There was kings in the Bible that actually reigned at your age. Go to 2 Kings chapter 22 and verse 1. Even younger than y'all. What's your question? Hold on, I'm going to answer your question. Hold your question. I'm going to answer your question. Read what you got. It's 2 Kings chapter 20. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. In 2 Kings chapter 22 and verse 1. Yeah. You know, Josiah was 8 years old. When he began, when he began to reign, what the Lord say? When, when he, he began, began to reign. reign, what if it was a president elected at eight years old? Mm. 
Do you know there was a man named Josiah, your forefather, reigned in a whole kingdom at the age of eight years old? That's right. Read on. And he reigned 30 in one year. How long did he reign? 30 in one year right. in Jerusalem. Right. So go to 2 Kings 21 in verse 12. 21 in verse 1. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Meaning Josiah was at eight years old keeping the God, keeping God's commandments. That's right. Now let me show you something else. Read on. The second Kings chapter 21 and verse 1. Right now. Manasseh was 12 years old. Wait, how old are you? How old are you? 12. Manasseh was 12 years old. Read on. When he began to reign. When he what? When, when he, he began to reign. He did what? And reigned 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem. Read on. And his mother's name was Hephzibah. Right. And he did that which was right, which was evil in the sight of the Lord. How old, he, so he was 12 years old and did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Read on. Let's see what happened to this man. Read on. After the abominations of the heathen. After the what? After, After the, the abominations, abominations of, of the, the heathen. heathen. So Manasseh wanted to continue to eat pork. Do you know what happened to Manasseh? He got killed and his son reigned in his stead. It doesn't matter how old you are. That's why the Lord has y'all up here right now. That's right. Go to Proverbs 20 and 11. So the Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 11. Now, if y'all believe in God, y'all got to understand his words. Read on. Even a child. Even a what? Even a child. Even a child is what? It's known by his doing. It's what? It's known by his doing. And the Lord judges you based off your actions. So if y'all want to do what's wrong against God, God is not going to pervert judgment just because you're 11, 12, 13 years old. He gave, he's giving you a strict commandment and he expects you to follow his commandments. So I'm going to ask y'all again, if God said, don't eat pork, you will die. Are you going to continue to eat pork? No, right? That's a wise thing. What about you? No. What about you? You don't know? Okay. All right. What about you? The Lord said, don't eat pork. What is pork bacon? Pig. Pig, ham. Bacon. Bacon. Uh, 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 bacon. Pepperoni. Salami. Pizza, bacon, and turkey. Yeah. Get turkey bacon. Turkey bacon is good. Lamb bacon. Beef bacon. You have a lot of alternatives. Why is pork so good? Why, why, why is, if God said don't do it, why, why continue to do it? What about you? Are you going to stop eating pork? For God? For, for everlasting life? Or, or is pork that good? Okay, for God you won't eat pork. What about you? I won't, but it's like this, this pork and pepperoni and bacon. Stop eating pepperoni. There's and it's eat turkey bacon. There's turkey, there's turkey pepperoni. You don't gotta eat you, you don't have to eat pork. No, we don't eat pork. You have steak, ox, bison, goat, chicken, lamb, turkey, venison. Damn, buffalo. You got all types of animals. Why do y'all want to choose the pig that eats other dead pigs? Do y'all know the cartel in Mexico? For them to get rid of the bodies, they use pigs. They feed them to the pigs. Pigs eat humans. And you pick up another pig, and that's why your grandfather, your abuelito, right? your grandfather, damn got gout. High blood pressure. And he's only 48 years old. Because he's eating pig and it digests his heart and gives him blood clots. But it's too good, right? It destroys our people, That's and right. our people went into slavery for dis disobeying simple commandments. You got a question? What's your question? Go to Psalm 711. You know your question? You got your question? All right, think about your question. I'm going to get you. All right. What, what about other commandments that God gave us? Okay, I got you. That's a good question. I like this, brother. Yeah. R read Romans 6 and 23. Now, listen to this, y'all. Listen to this. Read this. Now, it's the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. So when you break God's commandments, it's like a charge, right? If you break God's commandments, the wages of sin is death. Y'all understand that? If you break God's commandments, the payout is usually death. Now, I'm asking you, how many of our people die over the weekend? A lot. Why? They break God's commandments. Our, and who's mostly dying? Is it the so-called Indian man? What about the white man? What about Chinese people? Well, I'm asking, I'm answering. Chinese, but Chinese people But guess, yeah, but guess what? They doing all the other things that's against God, but since we do it, we die the most. You understand that? Now I'm gonna answer your question. What are other things that God told us not to eat? And I'm gonna answer your question. Read verse nine. Read verse nine. Deuteronomy 14 and nine. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 9. Get out. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters. Uh oh, the earth is made of 75% of ocean. Do you think you can just eat anything that come out the water? No. no. Right? Read on. All that have fins and scales shall ye eat. You can eat fish. But it has to have fins and scales. Read on. We got you. And whatsoever have not fins and scales, ye may not eat. What the Lord say? Ye, ye may not eat. eat. What things come out the waters that don't got fins and scales? Jellyfish. Jellyfish? Yeah, don't eat a jellyfish. You'll die. Right. Octopus? Don't eat octopus. We're not Japanese. Right. Who else? I tried it. Squid? I tried it. What about, what about, what about crab? Lobster. Lobster? Scallops, shrimps, shrimp. crawfish. Yeah, don't eat shrimp. You know why? Because shrimp eats everything at the bottom of the ocean. What Those are called bottom feeders. Don't you know that when you eat a shrimp, they have to clean the poop out the shrimp and they give it to you? They have to. It's called deveining the shrimp. Don't eat. See, when you know the anatomy of these animals and what they do, you're not going to want to eat these things. That's why our people have dealing with our, our sicknesses and health at an old age. So that's why you can't be eating those things. You can eat clean fish, salmon. Tilapia, red snapper, cod, right? White fish, huh? No, 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 not salami, right? But you can eat these fish. Yeah, if you hungry, don't eat pork. But, but yeah, eat chicken. That's good. Eat some chicken. No chicharron. Yeah. Yeah, no chicharron. Yes, you can do that. What's that pork? Yeah. Yeah, no chicharron. Eat, eat. Right, eat uh uh beef aron. Eat beef aron. All right. What's your question? Like the best food is probably chicharrones, right? And like I don't get it. So if, if they're like, you know, Dominicans got other foods too. Mango? You ever heard of mango? Yeah, I had some mango the other day. Mango was good. Yeah, with the chicken, they had the chicken on there, right? With the rice, I believe they kind of cooked it up, man. Yeah, turkey salam. Yeah, hey, guess, you can eat other things, and guess what? If all Dominicans do is eat damn pork, then guess what? You got eleven other brothers and sisters that know how to eat food, uh, cook food without pork too, man. What? What's your other question? Basically, I have like this, this theory, like, like the the president, like the people are not, like they're not believe they don't believe in God, because you know how they have a Bible, they're supposed to like put their hand on it. I don't believe that. No, yeah, they don't believe, believe in God. Sure. It's called being a hypocrite. Like, like, it's, like they're like, it's like. Wait, hold on, hold on. Say, it's like a quote, like they have like a mask on, right? Joe Biden's for Supposedly they believe in God, but they're basically like the Revelation devil. thirteen eleven. Hey, guess what? What you just said is in the Bible. Did you know that? Guess what? If we're God's people and we have enemies, don't you think they're God's enemies too? Like if you get into with somebody at school and you tell them, uh, tell your mom, and guess what? And they're your enemies. Your mom's not gonna favor them. Your mom's gonna look at them as their enemy too. That's her enemy too. And that's the, and that's how God works as well. So let me show you. Read this, King. This Job chapter nine and verse twenty-four. Bring it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who rules the world? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Lord said, "Whoever rules the world." Right is the wicked. Right. Who do you think rules the world? All right, take a flyer, brother. Take a flyer. Brother got flyers. Come, on. brother got a flyer for you if you're getting up out of here. Now I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Who do you think? Who do you think rules the world? Jesus. Well, not now. Jesus. What nation of people? What race? White people. White people. Y'all, do y'all agree? That white people rule this world? Yeah, because they don't, they don't get into any trouble, basically. Like, all oh, every time is like black people, natives, Indians, man. Psalm 73 and 5, right? Like, all those people, but except them. Except them. They don't get in trouble. They don't do, they, they, they can do whatever they want, right? Right? They make up about 90% of America, uh, uh, Congress, right? Do you agree with that? Do you agree that white people rule this world? Are you being sarcastic? You agree? All right, cool. Read what you got. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 73, verse 5. Yeah. They are not in trouble as other men. Hey, so hold on. This is what God said. He said the same thing as you. What? They are not in trouble as other men. Right? Neither are they plagued like other men. What? Neither are they plagued like other men. Yeah, the so-called white man is not plagued like us. Plagued with curses, shootings, diseases, right? They're not in trouble like we get in trouble. That's what the Bible is saying. This is your book. Read on. Verse 6, therefore pride compasseth them about as a chain. Right, they, they become prideful. You know these so-called white, you know these, you ever ran into a Jewish person? They're, they're very prideful, aren't they? They look at you like you're nothing, right? They, hey, guess what? In 1940s and 50s, they used to tell you get off the street, right? You ever heard of Emmett Till? 
wasn't Jesus born in um, was it Nazareth or Bethlehem? Bethlehem. Right. And Jesus was our people. That's right. And he was getting treated the same way by the Romans. That's right. Read on by the so-called white men. That's how we know we're his people. Read on. Violence covereth, covereth them as a garment. Right. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Their what? Their, Their eyes, eyes stand, stand out with fatness. fatness. They, whatever they see, they can get. Read on. They have more than heart could wish. They have what? They, they have, have more than heart, heart could wish. They have more than the heart can wish. They get whatever they want. That's right. Whatever they want. I know there's probably a 13 year old white man, white boy right now with a Lamborghini. Yep. Because his dad bought it for him for his 13th birthday. Yep. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you said, that's in the Bible. Now I'm gonna finish this verse to you. Read on. Job 9 and 24. Let me ask you a question. This is Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Yo! The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Hey, hey, guess what? He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Hey, didn't we read that Christ was a black man? Right? Hold y'all listening? Didn't we read that Christ was a black man? They covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's what they did. That's what they did. Right? Read on. Read what you got. Now you said they uh, act like they're lambs. They act like they're peaceable, but they're really not. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what you said as well, right? Now let me read this. The book of uh, Revelation chapter 13 and verse 11. Read it out. And I beheld and another it's like and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth right and he had two horns like a lamb yeah what he had two horns like a lamb because lambs get are you listening brother we asking your question lambs are known as peaceable animals right so this beast which is represented as america they come with peace they act like they're helping you you may see the commercials where they're helping the african uh starving children right Arms of an angel. Right, yeah, maybe too young for that. Right, but still. Right, read on. Huh. It says, and he spake like a dragon. And he what? And he spake like a dragon. So they act one way, but they really do another thing. America, they swear on the Bible, but they're really not against uh, uh, for God's laws. If, if God said don't eat pork, but America promotes pork, are they really for God? Oh. No. It's a lie. Right, what was your question? God differently if he wasn't there to make the first person alive. You said what? I said how do people treat God differently if he was the first person alive? You talking about Jesus? How, why would they treat him differently? You gotta understand because of what nation he came from. I mean you have to think about it. If you're the top basketball player, right? If you're the top, y'all play sports? Yes. What sports y'all play? Basketball. basketball. If you're the top basketball player, y'all may notice, isn't there other people that may want your starting position? Isn't there other people that may want your spot? They'll do anything to sabotage you. Jesus came from the top tribe and from the top nation. You think people hated him? You think people envied Jesus? They 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 they, they want to do all manner of, of, of evil to him. Go to Isaiah chapter fifty three and verse th uh, four. And it's in the Bible that that's gonna happen. Doesn't that happen to us? You see what I'm saying? But the point is, for this to stop happening to us, what do we gotta do? What do we got to do? Obey the, the, his commandments. Obey his commandments. We have to obey his commandments. As what? As black people or as the what? What did God call us? Israel. Israelites. Right. Israel. God as the Israelites. And, and brother, with the rest of, what's your name? Uh, Jordan. Jordan. What is one of God's commandments? That we just read. What can't you eat? Pork. Pork. All praises, right? Pork. Now we're going to show you another one of God's commandments. I'm going to show you another one of God's commandments. Get, go to Numbers 15 to 38. What's your name, King? Mark. Let me show you something, Mark. All right. You're very prudent. Read this. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. No. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? Go to Jeremiah 3 and 11. Who's the children of Israel? That's us, right? Yeah, we're the children of Israel. We don't. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. They make them what? Make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Mark, what is fringes? What does every brother have in common on their shirts up here? White? Yeah, what is what does every brother up here have in common at the bottom of their shirts? Fringes. God said the Israelites gotta wear fringes. Some hey, and, and we style it, man. Right, brothers got the different color fringes on. Brothers got white fringes, black and white fringes. Brother got green fringes, man. Right? Hey, guess what? We gotta have the fringes. Now, with the fringe, you have to, you also have to have something on there as well. Read on. Con. 
shall make them fringes in the borders of their garment throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Hey, what? A ribbon of blue. Mark, you're a king. You have to have a ribbon of blue as a fringe, because that signifies that we're kings and priests. And these are commandments that when you ever have children, they have to keep this. This is called our culture. This is called our history. Our culture was stripped from us, from who? White people. And now we're giving your culture back. You understand that, Mark? As an Israelite. Now read this real quick, Jeremiah 3, 15. Now I, I want brothers to be spiritual in what just happened. Read what you got. It's Jeremiah chapter hold on, three. Hold on, Mark, hold on, Mark. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. Uh, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, uh -huh. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right. And it shall come to pass when ye be multiplied. Verse 14. Verse 14. Yeah. Turn, O backsliding children, right. saith the Lord. For I am married unto you, right. and I will take you one of a city. What the Lord say? I will take you, you one, one of a city, city. On. and two of a family. Hey, guess what? We had, what, five, six brothers up here, and the Lord got one up here, man. The Lord chooses people that he wants them to hear this word, man. What's your question? Uh, what about Adams? Huh? What about Adams? Adams? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, Adams? Yeah, like first person alive named Adam or like Adam. Oh, Adam. Oh, you're talking about like Adam and Eve? Yeah. Okay, okay, I got you. Go to Genesis chapter 5 and verse 4. Now, we're going to answer it with one verse. We can get deeper than that, but we really want you to understand the foundational things of the Bible first. You understand that, Mark? Because that's what's most important. And then, if you come back out, or if we have more time, another brother can actually go, get into that for you. But I'm going to give you this one precept. Read this. Uh, five and one. Yeah. The book of Genesis chapter 5 from the top. This is the book of the generations of Adam. Of the what? Of the generations of Adam. So, as you know, Adam and Eve, right? You, uh, some people may say it was one man and one woman, right? Now, let's see how many people act God actually created on the earth during the time of Adam. Read on. And in the, it's like it. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, right. made he him. Right. Male and female, right. created he them. Created he what? Created he them. Is them a plural term? Them, like they, is that, is that talking about one person or is that talking about a group of people? A group of people. So when God created the generations of Adam, was it one man or was it different men called Adam on earth? Probably just men called Adam It was multiple men and multiple women called Eve, right? Now understanding that, read on. Done. Male and female created he them uh -huh. and blessed them and called their name and Adam. called what and called uh, their, their name Adam. Their name was Adam. So it wasn't so think about like this Christianity, you gotta get out of Christianity. And you gotta come congregate with us. Right? And your father, your brother, whoever you got, man, gotta come congregate with us. And you gotta look on that flyer because they're lying to our people. See, Christianity has told you this. Right, look, Mark. They have told you this. Jesus is white. That it was a so-called white man and a white woman in a garden talking to a snake. Adam, I mean, uh, Mark, can we talk to snakes? They, they don't respond, do they? So, so, something, so somebody was lying, right? Now, when you come and read the Bible, say, hey, somebody was lying. You can't talk to snakes, man. That's not in there, right? But it was their name called Adam. Does that answer your question? We can get deeper than that, right? But we want you to understand one more thing, okay? I'm going to bring out one more verse. What's going on? You got to go? All right, we're going to bring out one more verse for you, all right, King? I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going well, to bring out something for you. Go to the book of Isaiah 44 and 1 again. It's yeah. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. Right yeah. oh. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my, my servant. servant. And hold, hold on, hold on. What is our nationality according to God? African American. No, 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 according to God. Israelites. Israel what? Israelites. I'm, I can't hear you now. Israelites. Israelites. And you're from the tribe of where? You're, West, you're Jamaican? You come from the tribe of where? Benjamin, brother. All oh, praise. Go to Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Benjamin. Only Benjamin stayed up here. Man. That's spiritual. See that? Read this, King. <laughs> the book of Romans chapter 11 from the top. All right. I say then, had God cast away his people? Right. God didn't cast away his people. Mark, read on. Yeah, how will forbid? Right. For I also am an Israelite. You know Paul in the Bible that wrote the epistles? Right, Paul? And guess what? He was taught by Jesus Christ himself. Let's see what tribe that Paul came from. Read on. Of the seed of Abraham, right. from the tribe of Benjamin. From the what? From the tribe of Benjamin. From the what? From the tribe of Benjamin. Mark, you from the tribe of Benjamin. Your forefathers from the tribe of Benjamin, man. Right. All praise to the Yahweh So look into that information, Mark. All right, look into that information. All praise to the Yahweh Go to Amos chapter 4, verse 12. Right, and that's Mark is a spiritual name. 
Huh? Uh, I, I, I'm going to give one precept, all right? <laughs> Con, Amos chapter 4 and verse 12, man. Mark the Benjamite. Ah. Well, we had Gad up here, right? And we had, uh, what else, Reuben? Ah. Not Reuben, uh, Zebulon, Simeon, Gad, Ephraim, Judah, and Benjamin Stay. I right, read this. It's Amos chapter 4, verse 12. You know, therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. Right. And because I will do this unto thee. And because these things are going to happen on earth, man. What? And because there may be an EMP attack. What? Hey, the brother said China's going to invade America in three weeks, man. Huh? And because houses are going to be rifled, women are going to be ravaged. Ain't going to be no food on earth, man. Oh, Misses are coming. What the Lord say? Prepare to meet thy God. What the Lord say? Prepare to meet thy God. What Christ say? Prepare to meet thy God. Oh Israel! Oh who? Oh Israel! Oh blacks! Oh Israel! Oh Spanish! Oh Israel! Oh Americans! Oh Israel! Gotta prepare to meet your God in these last days, man. And with that, we said, "Come, Yashallah." Come, Yashallah. Come, Yashallah. Come, Yashallah.